I just have always felt really strongly about ensuring people have access to opportunity. Um, I also have had uh, experiences in my own family that required support from government services. Um, and the system was always very difficult to navigate, even though I feel pretty confident that there's resources and programs to meet every need. So having those challenges for me personally um, made it feel like there was more that I can do in the government sphere. was over at the Office of Child Care and also doing the intergenerational poverty research. Um, in both of those roles, really elevating issues of concern. Again, going back to that notion of opportunity, ensuring everybody has access to opportunity, um, in recognizing that for, for many families that are living in poverty, it's not necessarily the case that they are flawed individuals, that they find themselves experiencing economic hardship hardship um, in making sure that there's opportunity. So being able to communicate that effectively and demonstrate that there's other factors in play when it comes to, to economic hardship and challenges and what that means long term. I think people are always fascinated to find out that I used to be a figure skater and I had a Dorothy Hamill haircut because I am a child, of, uh, a person of a certain era when I was a child and my hair used to be stick straight. Success is really about realizing the vision that we established through the consolidation effort that all Utahns have fair and equitable opportunities to be healthy and safe and making sure that our department is leveraging data and research and all of our programs and resources to realize that for, for Utahns throughout the entire state.